Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did not pause this video like this. I'm just, I'm just saying. I did not, I did not pause here. I just used this car to run over a whole family okay, of children. Okay, but won't his fingers <laughs> grow at some point or am I stupid, Dench? <laughs> oh, my God. Why would his fingers grow? Why? Anything that might shrink. But all of the What did he say? Come again! There you go. I just used this car to run over a whole family of children. But all of that could have been avoided if this car was just fitted with an old-fashioned invention that doesn't exist anymore. So today, I'm going to remake this device and test its effectiveness and then invent something of my own. It'll hopefully allow car owners to keep pedestrians safe while also not taking away the joy of running them over. <laughs> Now, looking at the, the history of vehicles of in Australia, people. more yes. people than ever are choosing to drive... A oh, hold up, sorry. I have to pause the video one more time real quick. You have to rewatch the video and pretend everything is just as funny. I have no audio. Hey, you gone. <laughs> I just used this car to run over a whole family of children. <laughs> But all of that could have been avoided if this car was just fitted with an old-fashioned invention that doesn't exist anymore. Why does this low-key So today, looks, I'm going to remake like, this fun. device like, and like, test its yes, run me over, and then invent please. something of my own. Like, why does it look fun? It'll hopefully allow car owners to keep pedestrians safe while also not taking away the joy of running them over. Now, looking at the history of vehicles in Australia, more people than ever are choosing to drive American-style pickups. Sales in June were up 85% <laughs> on the same period last year. Workers remanufacture around 1,200 trucks a month. Whoa. And these cars are bigger, heavier, less fuel efficient, and are just ruining the flow of roads. And with the marketing surrounding these trucks, pushing the image that they are essential vehicles for a strong, modern, manly man that loves to drive on... They are a strong essential vehicle for for a strong modern orchid that can't drive them but i have much to compensate for so i would like a big vehicle please thank you on a dirt road once a year it's no wonder insecure dickheads keep buying these giant american style youths like me i want one of them like me when i bought this stupid <laughs> thing and with even more powerful engines resulting in even longer braking times, it's almost like they are trying to produce death machines, which might actually Yippee! be their agenda. Because if you buy a big car that's more likely to injure people in small cars, the people in small cars then want to get a bigger car to stop you killing them. And then it turns into an <laughs> arms race to buy bigger and bigger vehicles. And this cycle continues until everyone is just driving an M1 Abrams. <laughs> and the stats on pedestrian vehicle deaths like are pretty tank. shocking. If you Let's own a go. ute like this, you are 80% more likely than any other driver Cooking to hit a pedestrian. And when you do hit someone, you, you are 50% more likely to kill them. So but why? Them and maybe you think it's because they are heavier, them. faster, or that because the owners are more likely to be wankers. Uh -huh. And these are all true, but the biggest factor is actually the grill height. <laughs> when I've run over a family of children in a normal car with a low grill, you typically hit them in the legs and then throw them up onto the bonnet, distributing a lot of the energy. But with cars like this that have a grill height of 1.2 meters, <laughs> unless I'm running over Yao Ming, most people, height. especially children, are going to take the full impact straight into their vital organs. Also, because you're higher, you can't even see if a child walks in front of your car, which this lady Whee! nicely demonstrates by running over eight children. And this is <laughs> happening more and more. And people... <laughs> which this lady demonstrates by running over eight children. The organs. Also, because you're higher, you can't even see if a child walks in front of your car, which this lady nicely demonstrates by running over eight children. And this is happening more and more. And people with higher grills are way more likely Thank to run over their own children. So my device is going to have to stop this. And I think these forgotten inventions might just do that. And they were introduced when cars first appeared on the road, when people didn't know how to drive and pedestrians didn't know how to walk. <laughs> stepping in front of cars and they were killed in shocking numbers almost at a similar level to today so instead of slowing down <laughs> wow. people came up with this thing which pops out like an umbrella catching the person safely 
which seems to work. And there are a couple of versions I've seen. Another has this bumper which pops up so the pedestrian can grab onto it so they don't get flung onto the road. Okay. Or this one with a net. And that man definitely has a concussion. But I'm going to go with the umbrella version as that man seemed the least hurt. And that way, when I do hit you, you'll be placed gently inside this soft hammock. Why does it look like he's running over Elon Musk for some reason? That man definitely has a concussion. But I'm going to go with the me? umbrella version as that man like, seemed oh, hi, the least hurt. Nom. And that way, when I do hit you, you'll be placed gently inside this soft hammock. And then I can just apologize this and drive you to work. Elon Musk. Right, the first thing I need to do is figure out how to get it to pop out quickly. And I don't have a plan. So I'm just going to start welding pieces of metal together and see where I end up. And I've actually had some of you comment on videos when I'm welding, asking if their eyes can get damaged by staring at me welding on camera without a mask. <laughs> Which is... Yeah, chat, look away. What the fuck? Don't look at him weld. What the and heck? I've actually had Your some eyes, of you bro. comment on videos when I'm welding, <laughs> asking if their eyes can get damaged by staring at me welding on camera without a mask. Which is so incredibly stupid. You can't. I'm the only one at risk here. So once that was done, I bunged a spring on. And now I've got a... I feel weird. Something about him just being honest. And not sarcastic. It's just... I'd what run happened? over Elon Musk, preferably <laughs> with a tank. <laughs> Wait, this was so... Where was the sarcasm? Help! <laughs> Great way to whack myself in the head. Oh. Then I just welded up another one and then checked if they get in the way of each other. And I'd like to say I planned this, but somehow they don't rub or touch each other at all. Similar to your parents. <laughs> And they also spring out nicely, which means I can do the same on the other side. And by me, I mean my mate Ruben, who was learning to weld. And I was sick of burning my eyes welding, so I thought it would be funny for his first ever weld to be criticised by millions of people online. <laughs> I mean, it looks exactly the same as mine. <laughs> but somehow his welds look equally as bad as mine. Then I just cut out some more metal for the swinging arms on the other side. Why is he poking the wall? Why? Ah! <laughs> and then attached them with springs <laughs> and gave it a test to see if I'm on the right track with this concept. That looks pretty great, and I almost sliced my femoral artery. It's not quite as fast as the ones from the video, but everything in old films always looks faster and oh sped up. All right, now that I got the frame, I need to figure out how I'm making the fabric sail. And I was going to use my bed sheet, but since I only have one, I'm going to use this canvas tarp. And I don't really know the best way to do this, so I just kind of scrunched. What is that? Figure out how I'm making the fabric. What? What is? What is that, chat? Explain what it. What is that? What's in his bed? What? Can you explain that? Sale. And I was going to use my bed sheet, but <laughs> since I only have one, I'm going to use this canvas tarp. <laughs> and I don't really know the best way to do this. So I just kind of scrunched the material around the poles in the way I want it to sit and then safety pinned it all down and then sewed the hell out of it. And for this, I'm using a specific sewing technique for thick materials called the whipping ratchet stitch. And if you haven't heard of that, don't worry, I just made it up. <laughs> and this is the first one I sewed, which looks pretty good. But then, someone must have snuck in at night while I was sleeping and sewed the rest, as they got progressively <laughs> worse and worse. But I think they should still be strong enough. <laughs> also, while I was attaching the fabric, I found another thing I need to work out. If I drive into someone with this current setup, it won't do anything, as the poles will just collapse down, failing to stop the pedestrian from hitting the car. And at first, I considered making a ratchet on each arm so it locks their arms in place wherever they stop. But after I destroyed every spanner in my house, I realized this was way too much work and that it might not even support the load. But then I spotted the perfect thing in my garage. I have something that supports, that support us, but I'd never mind. This door with never this spring-loaded latch. And luckily, I don't need to destroy my door to access this technology. And I just bought some of these <laughs> gate locks, which I ground into a bevel and welded on. And now when the arm swings out, it passes over this side of the bolt, pushing it down, and then it pops up, locking the arm into place. Ooh, so I just welded so three nice. more into place. Wait, what? 
<laughs> Once I put the fabric back on, I was about to jump into it to see if it can hold my weight, but realized another thing I've done wrong. I stupidly left the end of the pole sharp, which is just going to rip through the canvas. So I put duct tape on the end and then cut out these little tabs to clamp the sheet down with, which should increase the surface area of the attachment points. And it should be done, but I'm still not going to test it with my body weight, as I'd prefer that if it breaks and goes catastrophically wrong, that it happens on the car at speed. Okay, next I need to make the release mechanism. And to do that, I'm going to use my new favorite thing, these quick release things, Whoa. which will allow me to open this without running away and slicing an artery. And my idea is to use this Whoa. elastic, which will wrap around the poles and the fabric. And then when I pull the string, please work. All right, hopefully that still works while there is a sheet on it with air resistance pushing up against it. But before I go any further, I want to tell you about the sponsor of the video, Odoo. Odoo is an all-in-one management sponsors. software that provides entrepreneurs like me and you Odoo. with a range of applications to make day-to-day -day management of their business Yippee. way easier, including invoicing, accounting, Ads. website creation, and no more. It's all here sponsor. just in one place. And you can start off Whoa. using the apps that your business requires. Bare Let's say I want to make an e-commerce store to sell amazing American cars. All I have to do is follow feet. four simple steps is <clears throat> starting with choosing online store for manufacturer this of business and choosing one of the color feet. palettes I mean, adding the pages and features i want and last step getting I mean, a beautiful theme from feet. these three he, options he odoo he website always... builder uses ai to build you a beautiful online store that's ready to customize <laughs> and you get all this for free since your first odoo application is free for life with unlimited and hosting and support and they also offer free I've personalized domain name for socks, one year. it's so shoes. easy to create your online store and you don't need any technical it's skill well, let's say i want to sell accessories for cars i just click on you at top right type the product name and let's say i'm selling alloy wheels for 70 bucks and done now i can just drag and drop blocks to make this page more appealing add images and the description of the product so go check out my link in the description to get started for free with odoo today Yippee. okay that's done now i need to work out how i'm attaching it to my car which probably should have been my first step but lucky for me the car has these hooks underneath which i think are there to pull the car off pedestrians when it runs them over <laughs> and i'm going to use them now, at first, I thought I was going to put Very a metal useful. pole yes. in there and then just bolt it on and then attach it like that. But then I thought, no, if this bends down while I'm driving and catches the road, the metal pole is going to get shot straight through the car suspension, through mm -hmm, the driver's mm -hmm. compartment and into my cock. So instead, I'm going to use <laughs> wood. My, my logic here is that the wood is weaker than the metal it's attached to. So he hopefully it snaps before it does any fruit, real damage know? to the car or me. I just hope my insurance company isn't watching this. Okay, I made this shield thing which I bolted in with U-bolts. And it's made out of polycarbonate which is thick enough to stop a bullet. So hopefully it stops the mannequin from damaging the car. Then okay. I just put the pedestrian catcher on the front. And as soon as I put on the pedestrian catcher, I noticed that the wood bends a lot under the weight. So I invented something I've never seen before. This round thing which I'm calling a uniform diameter rotary transporter which should support <laughs> the weight. Now, wow, before I go so and test smart. this on the road, what a I want to try invention. my own brand new, maybe life-saving solution. Cars have airbags inside to protect passengers, so why not have them on the outside to protect pedestrians? Surely, pedestrian lives will be saved if just before... I like before how the, the airbag company was just like, fuck this guy. ...on the outside to protect pedestrians. Surely, pedestrian lives will be saved if just before an impact, a nice soft <laughs> pillow pops out for them to sleep on. <laughs> And I managed to get these four airbags, which was surprisingly hard. And I found out after being turned away by multiple mechanics that it's illegal for them to sell large quantities of airbags to individuals without a proper reason. But luckily, Why? I found a guy that didn't want he to be named out west reason. that did an under the table cash deal. Thank you for Hood. So I'm going to have the airbags <laughs> attached here and then just it's before like I hit the pedestrian, there's going to be a pressure plate which sets off the airbag. But before I go out on the streets and test it, I have to set one of these off just to know they work with this baby. Oh God. <laughs> With this baby. And I couldn't get it to work. Either for Hood gave me broken airbags, or there's a safety mechanism here that's been removed to stop idiots like me playing with it. Which might be the case, as it looks like these pins need to be pushed into another contact plate to work. And I considered buying some proper connection points, but got lazy and decided to just play around <laughs> with the placement of the wires and hooked them up randomly. Also, this time, I'm going to put these awesome stickers on that measure G-force. And they are the same ones used by the Mythbusters. And I mean exactly the same ones. I stole them from Jamie Heineman. <laughs> so we got 25 Gs, 50 like, Gs, and 100 Gs. Fingers. And generally, like, 100 Gs is me. fatal.
There goes the baby. Why did the baby's head come off? I don't know about you, but I think I prefer the anti-baby pills. And I guess that's why the government restricts babies from driving cars. <laughs> So it's time to test all of this out, and I need somewhere with a long road and no one around. And luckily, one of my subscribers is a hoon, and he told me about an abandoned highway which they may or may not use for drag racing, which is perfect for this test. Yeah. Except on the way in, we set off an alarm. Oh. So we probably got an hour or two until the cops turn up. So we tried to be quick and attach the shield first, and then the tires. What do you think's gonna happen? I think it's going to shatter. What's happening? Both, both wheels are turning. The wheels are turning. It's working! Um, yeah, they seem a bit jumpy. That's fine. Then once the tyres seemed like they were working, we attached the pedestrian catcher and gave it a stationary test. There's so many things about this. Like what? Like the fact that there's no like actual management for the fabric. So if a bit of it comes out while you're driving and catches something on the ground, like, I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, stand exactly where you are. <laughs> Were you going to hit me? No, no, no. Okay, move back, move back. Okay, please work. I'm going to be sick. Otherwise, we came out here for nothing. <gasps> <laughs> no! <laughs> Wait, why am I laughing? I'm here for no reason as well. Come on, you f***er. <laughs> no. There we go. And it's not opening. And in my test at homes, I forgot that the fabric would be way more bunched up and it's just getting caught on itself. So I decided to just lock it open and hit the mannequin with the G4 <coughs> stickers and see if this whole thing works at all. That's recording. <laughs> Still feels like a good idea. Yeah, I'm quite scared. And Look, then... say it. Oh, and you can't do any sharp <gasps> What? You can't do any sharp turns in this thing. Those wheels at the front don't turn. Oh, that's making weird movements. Yeah, of course, because the wheels you got on there don't turn. It's just kind of scraping against the ground and fighting against the rest of your car. Yeah, but let me ask you this. How but you, you, just, you just ran over another wheel. What? You drive forward a bit. A wheel? Did a wheel fall off? Of course it fell off, actually. There's two screws in it. There's a wheel on the road. I ran over a wheel? Yeah, we got one of the wheels. Both wheels fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the wheels? <laughs> They're both just gone. <laughs> like, you drove it like turned. two centimeters an hour. <laughs> two centimeters an hour. <laughs> What's that weird noise? <laughs> Fucking um. He's <laughs> being. <laughs> Alexi, you know what? I think the I think the wheels are gonna work. Yeah, yeah I think it's a good idea. Well, <laughs> this, this is fine. This is fine. Let's do it. What, what's the worst? Look how much that's hanging down. If that catches, we're. You're getting impaled. No, no, we're not getting impaled. <laughs> and well, that's the only <laughs> thing that's going to break. That's a good omen. That's the only thing that's going to break today. Yeah, you film forward. Okay. Yep. I'll send you after the fact. Ready. Set. So, what are you doing? I think I got 50 Ks. Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, fuck! Well, your thing's immediately broken. <laughs> nice invention! Yippee! Oh, it worked! Wait, how did the music just turn? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it immediately broken? <laughs> oh. What is that smell? Bing, 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 bing. I mean, the mannequin's disappeared. It's hold. <gasps> it's in the bag. No, 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 no. That's the mannequin. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, wait. Something's leaking. I've done some serious damage to my car. Oh, oh. no. Come the car. <gasps> That's oh, fucked. No. What the? F Holy sh. Some red stuff's coming out. Well, you're going to drink it. It... That's the coolant. Okay, we <sighs> up. Yikes! Strike oil and we <laughs> up. Can we strike uh, oil, boys? Um, holy We need good to tonight! Probably this. Why did I let Reuben film some of the wells? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing would go wrong. I thought that would be funny. The first time weld. 
Well, what happened to the dummy? Let's actually, let's just finish the experiment. 100 G's? Dead. Yeah. 25 G's? Dead. And my car? <laughs> dead. Dead. <laughs> And we thought it might have been Ruben's first time weld that had snapped and punctured the car. But after finding the mannequin leg covered in blood, it was definitely my fault. <laughs> Wait, it's covered in, in cooler. It looks like blood. Yo, Ricochet! Hello! I was craving more dark souls And the mannequin souls stand today. bounced underneath the car. But and you can even see alive. it lifts the car up, puncturing something important and denting the frame. What else is there? Look at that. Hello, Richard. And after chatting to Ruben on the phone, we figured out that it was the transmission and all the useful fluid it needs to survive was gone. Oh no. This Goodbye, is transmission. Or is it like a bit viscous? It's a bit viscous. Yeah, I'd say it's probably power steering fluid or like transmission, but your transmission would um, be fast. in metal, so. Transmission would be the gears if I just don't change. Is that a what gear? Do you, you can't drive home in first. No, no, I'm not going to drive home. I'll drive it out of here and then we'll have to get Uber's home, Alexa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, we pretty quickly worked out that we were not driving out of here, even if we wanted to, as there was no more liquid left in the transmission and the car was locked in park. Okay. That's not a Build even the word. Build tough. <laughs> service vehicle shift malfunction, service required. Well, you've got the service button, which is like... A very low drama way wait, of wait, saying wait. you destroyed your car. I think, I think maybe <laughs> a it's very low and drama maybe, way of saying you destroyed maybe my car your is just car. Due for a service. Oh yeah. Went straight back wait, to the park. We have to walk all the way back. <laughs> the worst, worst possible. I mean, the worst possible thing is. But we die. We die. Yeah. This is probably <laughs> almost the same. Well, we just have to walk a long way, which is kind of like going to heaven. Yeah. I guess. He took off the apron. Sucks. No. She is serious. And after no a long 30-minute walk talking to 12 different mechanics that were all trying to palm the job onto someone else, made more complicated by the fact that I didn't want to tell them that I had purposely driven into a metal spike. <laughs> I have had something shot up and pierce my transmission fluid pan. We finally managed to get in touch with a tow truck that would be there in three hours. So, hey, my Uber's here. See you later. While Alexa was driving away, I couldn't help but feel disappointed. Oh, Firstly, no. because my device failed so easily, Even but mostly that I didn't get to let off the airbags, which I was so excited to do. But as if on cue, a cop showed up and did a lap of the road we were just on, making me feel a whole lot better about not illegally letting off a bunch of airbags down there. <laughs> then eventually the tow truck pulled up and pulled my bleeding car filled with dismembered mannequins and explosives oh God, to the mechanic. Tire. You may it's also like be thinking skinny. that I just wasted the last month creating the most useless thing I've ever made. But I would argue that in a way it was actually very successful. And I exceeded my wildest dreams of what was possible. And I created the most successful pedestrian catcher ever. A device capable of completely destroying a 2.5 ton <laughs> car in seconds. And if in everyone seconds. just walked around with a mannequin stand on them at all times, Times, there would be no big cars left on the road and the world would be a pedestrian utopia. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> if you like that, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Well, thank you. I did a thank thing you. for this beautiful video. Thank you. <laughs> There's a little Andrew's been in this place before. I forgot the lyrics.